This is a video review of Tobot Evolution Y, and unlike his predecessor, Tobot Y, who was uh, one of the worst figures I've ever handled, this is actually a really cool figure. First of all, we have the car mode, and his car mode is really cool. I love the way this thing looks. It's mean, it's striking, it's uh, sporty, and uh, it's just overall just a really cool looking car. I'd love to own something like this, except I'm sure it wouldn't get good gas mileage, and I'm sure it would have a lot of insurance on it, but otherwise, it's just a really cool car, and I really like it. it rolls super well, and it's overall just a really nice car. Now, start the transformation for this guy. You're going to, this is one of the few where you really need a key to do it because there's a, a button inside of here that you press that will unlatch a um, piece right here. And you need to do that because otherwise you um, you might end up breaking something. So that's what the key is for. Um, put the key off to the side. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is not actually deal with this, but deal with this up here. You're going to pop this section here up like that. And then you're going to, you're going to, pop it in here like that after folding that piece down there. You're going to pop this up and it's going to just stay up like that for now. Uh, fold that in to give a little bit of room for wiggle. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the legs, you're going to straighten them out like this. And then there is a step where you're going to uh, take a little uh, clip in there and hook it onto a tab in there. You're not, you're going to want to make sure that you don't do that for actually quite a bit of time. And the reason why is because otherwise parts will start crashing into each other on this guy. So next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fold th these side panels up here and that will allow you to pull the arms out like this. And then to keep the arms from uh, wobbling up, you'll rotate them up and then you'll press them in. In fact, there are little arrows are molded in here that will tell you exactly what you need to do. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to pop this up a little bit so that it uh, comes up over these things. It's above them and that will like rotate the waist around very easily and then you'll clip these into place. Because if you do it at any other time then uh, these will come too close to the body and they'll start uh, clashing against some parts up there. So anyway, you'll pop that down like that. It's It doesn't really stay very well. It's just It just kind of flops. But anyway, leave that there. And then you'll come up to the chest and you will fold it down like this and you'll clip it into the body and you'll bring the chest closer in you'll bring the arms down like this you'll pop up the shoulder pads here and here and then we are basically done the only problem that this guy has is at these end i actually remember i came up with a way to keep that held out but i don't remember what it was and um i've actually been experimenting with this guy for like 10 minutes trying to figure it out um but I, I, I got nothing, so you, it, it just kind of flops. Anyway, the last thing you want to do is you want to bring his feet up like this, so spread the legs, and here we have Tobot uh, uh, Evolution Y in his robot mode, and this is a really cool robot mode. He has a cool robot mode, uh, cool car mode, cool robot mode, and uh, not an awful transformation. It's not my favorite transformation because sometimes parts will uh, smash into each other, and that's not fun whenever that happens, but overall it is ultimately a really cool figure. I really like it. The only problem I kind of have with him is that he doesn't have the best posability. Now that's not actually really much of a problem because no Tobot figure really has much posability. Um, but he really would benefit from a lot of posability here. Um, what am I saying? It's... What I'm trying to say is, he's like most other Tobot figures, He's not really worth more than $40 at most. If you have to pay more than that, don't get him unless you really like what you see. That's what I'm trying to say about his posability. He's, um, he looks good, and he is one of the better figures of the line, but he's not a must-buy. Um, now, one thing about this guy is he was the first Tobot figure I ever got. And so he's the reason why I ever got into Tobots much at all in the first place. So... That should give you an idea of how much I do like this guy, because I really didn't know anything about Tobots, what was good, what was bad about Tobots, but I did like him enough, just on his own, just not really understanding what Tobots were at the time, to give uh, uh, the rest of the Tobot figures a chance. So, he is good enough to be your first Tobots figure, if you can't find some of the other figures that are must-buys, like Quadrant or uh, Tobot Adventure Z. Um, now anyway, for possibility, you do get a one uh, a 360 on the arms, you do get an elbow here, uh, it's only two clicks. Legs go forward and back, in and out, bend at the knee, quite a bit actually, and then the uh, feet will bend like that. And that's really all you get from this guy. Um, he's just enough to be 
a fun toy without being an overly good toy. Now, one thing I will say is that he is kind of from what I'm calling the golden age of Tobots, where he's pretty stable. Nothing really shakes on him too much. Uh, and the reason why I bring this up is because some of the later Tobot figures have this problem, like a Adventure um, uh, X and uh, Y, they both have this problem really bad. But some of the later Tobot figures aren't quite as bulky as some of the earlier ones, and so they, they end up sh uh, shaking a lot. They're not as solid as like this guy is, so... I, I do like him quite a bit, uh, and I I'm sorry to ramble now, I apologize, so... Um, yeah, he he's recommended with a price limit. Uh, he's he's not definitely not a must buy. But anyway, I review Power Rangers, Transformers, Tobots, uh, Digimon, lots of stuff like that. If any of that sounds interesting, please subscribe and thank you for watching.